So we're going to take a look at viewing our 360 VR sequence that we rendered out of Media Encoder in the last movie. And if everything is successful, this is what you'll see in the queue. You'll see that, hey, my movie has been exported or rendered out onto your system. So if I click on here, we can actually see the render file and the file path of where it was. And you'll notice here, oh, look at that. It's been uploaded to YouTube as well. And the best part about this is if I click here, there's a link to YouTube and it brings me straight there and start to play my video. And we can see that it is indeed 360. And let me just give this a play. I'm just gonna press the play button. And all right, so a couple of things that we should note. Number one is that YouTube did actually see that as 360 VR footage because we clicked on that v this is VR video before we rendered this out. It was exported and uploaded successfully. We can also see that this is a private video so people can't just access this regularly because I set it to private. If I actually go to my Clips and Handles page and I check under my channel, there's the video manager here. And under the video manager, I can edit some of the settings for this video. So if I go here to edit, I could do things such as change the name of that video, add additional information besides the stuff that I added inside of Media Encoder, and even add more keywords and tags. All very, very cool. Now, just a couple things to note with this process is that this was a H.264 4K upload. If you want to have a higher quality video, you're gonna to have to use a different type of codec, not H.264, because the limitation right now is in fact 4K. But there we can see that we've had a successful YouTube upload. And because I'm using a compatible browser, in this case, you can see here that the browser that was selected was actually Firefox. I'm able to play this 360 video. So I would need that or Chrome in order to play this. If I went onto my phone, I would be able to experience a similar experience with this 360 video, maybe even move around it a little bit faster with my fingers. There you have it, our 360 VR workflow using Premiere Pro and After Effects along with Metal's Skybox to get your 360 VR videos uploaded to the web.